Hi guys, and welcome to The Colorful Gardener. My name is Josh, and today I'm gonna to do a quick unboxing video from Palantine's Rose Nursery. If you're new here, go ahead and consider subscribing and liking this video. Okay guys, so this is just gonna be a quick video because I've got some bare root roses in here and I need to get them in some water quickly. These are bare root roses that order from Palantine Nurseries. This is the first time buying from Palantine for me and I'm really anxious to see what these roses look like. Okay guys, so this is what they look like. They come in this plastic bag and it's fairly moist inside the bag, which I am appreciate. It's not dried out. And uh, as you can see, I've got about five roses in here and I'm excited to pull them out and show you. Okay, look at these beauties. So this is the first time for me growing grafted roses and what that means is that uh, they have taken rose cuttings and grafted onto a rootstock, usually a Fortiana multiflora uh, rootstock which is supposedly very tough and durable rootstock for roses and helps them have a good healthy life. They have some beautiful roots on them as you can see, very beautiful long thick dark, dark brown roots and then very green canes. These are ready to be put out in the garden. As you can see, they're bundled up together, super moist. Um, you, the thing with bare root roses is you need to make sure they stay super moist when they are in transport because you don't want them to dry out. Um, they're at a very vulnerable time right now in their life and they need to make sure they stay extra moist. And again, I said I ordered, ordered about five different roses. Brothers Grimm, uh, Earth Angel, Zade, um, Garden Delight, some really good roses from Peter Kukuleski's book. Um, they are the only places that offer these roses, so I was like, okay, let me grab some of these and put these in my garden for next year. Um, Palantine Nursery specializes in roses, all different types of roses, and they're located in Canada. So they, come, they have come from a very far away place uh, to my home in South Carolina, and uh, I'm really excited to see how these roses are gonna do that with it being bare-rooted. Make sure you follow the directions that Palantine offers you. There are growing directions, what you should be doing once you get these roses, how you should be growing them, and um, what you should be doing once you, they arrive at your house. Um, again, when you get bare root roses, don't let them sit on your porch or in your garage for very long. You need to let these guys soak in water for at least 24 hours um, to get them moist and ready to be put out in your own garden. And really happy with this order guys this is a really beautiful bunch of roses i can't wait to put these in my garden but again i need to soak these for at least 24 hours before putting these guys in the ground thank you guys for watching this video on unboxing from palantine rose nursery if you're new here go ahead and consider subscribing and liking this video and again my name is josh thank you guys for watching the colorful gardener i'll see you guys in future videos